All right. The lovely Ivana putting her socks on <laughs> because of the adventure that awaits just outside this big window. So we love this apartment. It's got a really nice view of both the historic old town in Pietra Nymphs as well as the orange cable car that is slowly moving across the mountainous forest backdrop, really for <laughs> foreshadowing our adventure. But first things first, let's start off this vlog right by potentially losing 10,000 Romanian subscribers. Okay, yesterday for dinner, Ivana made meech and mushroom soup that we ate with rice. Meech and mushroom stew served with rice. Good. Thumbs up or thumbs down I'm in the comments, get, Romanians. A lot of hates, but it was good. Listen, I will admit the flavor was good. Yeah. But something about meech and rice. <laughs> it's a little bit like steak and eggs. It's good, but it's just <laughs> just a bit off, you know? Alright. There you have it. Anyway, guys, uh, we are super excited to go explore Pieta and Nymphs. Unfortunately, this really nice apartment is uh, fully booked tomorrow night because our first impression of Pieta and Nymphs was we should uh, get some much needed editing done in this really nice <laughs> apartment with the view here mm -hmm. and extend our stay for a few days. But we will be continuing the Romanian road trip tomorrow. Not complaining, just saying. Yeah. But uh, with that, let's get out the window here and let's... Uh, start adventuring through this really beautiful looking city. I think these might be communist era buildings, all look the same. In fact, we might be in a communist era building right now. But in the end, I think the first stop is the historic center. city center there, which looks very inviting. Okay, let's go. All right, so we've made it to the historic old town here in Pietra Nymphs, which is quite a bit smaller than a lot of the historic old towns we've been to on our road trip. But keep in mind that there are about 100,000 people living in Pietra Nymphs. So as far as small towns go, it's a pretty small, small town. Right. Now, this tower is called Stefan the Great Tower, built in the year 1499. Now, one of the main tourist attractions in Pieta de Nymphs is in fact an archaeology museum, which I think is one of these buildings here, because believe it or not, Pietra Nymphs is the site of a prehistoric civilization. We are talking thousands and thousands of years before Jesus. Wow. Now, as far as archaeology museums go, Yvonne and I are going to skip this particular one because we find in prehistory, everything sort of looks the same. <laughs> right? That's true. Yeah. So we understand that these particular uh, clay pots must be unique in some way and there is someone out there with a passion for prehistory. Mm -hmm. It just isn't us. Right. So our main goal today is to take the cable car, which you can see just beyond the tower here, to the top of the hill. It looks like it should provide a very good view up there and our assumption is you can probably get on the cable car at the bottom of the hill and then ride it up. But believe it or not, in our quest to go this way, we're going to start by going this way because it looks like the cable car crosses the entire city. So I think it seems like the more time we spend on the cable car, the better because it should provide a view of the whole town going all the way across and then go up the hill. Yes. So in our quest to go this way, we are going this way. Let <laughs> the adventure begin, see if we can figure out a way to get on this cable car. Looks really nice, the orange uh, cable car going across the city. Red cable car. Ivana has got the most interesting interpretation of colors. The let's, cable car is clearly no, orange. No, let's go closer and see if it's red. You're telling me it's orange. red. Yes. It's definitely orange. Red. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's see, go. let's see, let's see. Ivana Weeble. Ivana Weeble. You're telling me. Oh. You're telling me that's okay, red. You're right. It's orange. From far away, it looks red. 
The roof of the church is red. It's orange. You're right. We got a backpack at home. Ivana calls it the blue backpack. Really? And it's 100% green. Nah. Ivana's got her own definition of colors. Okay, without further ado, we've made it to the starting point. Yeah. Let's hop in. This looks exciting, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Steve. Oh my goodness! Good! <laughs> Private car. Thank you very much. So we lay up and down, hoping for a restaurant at the top. Yes, hopefully, because I am Hungari. Maybe we can have some meat uh, that are not stewed with rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, man! It was good, it was good, it was good, it was good. Oh yes. I was hoping it would close. <laughs> to me that they built this across the whole town because it seems like the reason they built it is to get to the top of the hill so they could have just started it at the bottom of the hill wow. uh, we've been to Colombia yes. South America where they use this kind of cable car as their subway as their public transport yes, yes, because the city is because up the and city up. is like this yeah. but in this instance I really think it's just uh, a tourist attraction. Yeah, I'm wondering they, what's up there. But maybe the best part might be this part here. It's really convenient they built it across the city. It's beautiful. Because the view is amazing. And then yeah. we'll see what's at the top of the hill. Dude! Wow. Five star gondola experience. I love it. <laughs> Yo! Good job, Theatra <laughs> Nymphs. This is fun. <laughs> it is fun. This is a good tourist attraction. Yeah. It's almost like it doesn't matter what's at the top of the hill. It's already worth it. Go across the whole city. It's a little bit scary, but it's nice. It's nice. I mean, you can see the view of the whole city. It's really it's surrounded by mountains. It's really not scary. Here comes zoom. Oh my gosh. I was, I have like a strap here <laughs> or something. You oh, thought was a parachute. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Oh yeah. Goodness. Great success. Wow. Every time it jiggles, you want to scream. <laughs> it's a little scary. We're very high no up problem. in the mountain. No We're actually at the very top. Look at this. Oh, go that way too, Ivana. Wow. Oh, there's a ski hill over here. Chairlift? Oh, there's a ski hill. Okay, okay, get ready to go. Get ready, get ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fast, fast, fast. Hold on, hold on. Safety. Oh, I think there's a restaurant up there. I see it. Okay. Okay. Right now? Okay, okay. Go out here. Thank you. Yvonne is glad to be alive. <laughs> but I think there's a ski hill here which would make Pietra and Nymphs wow. a 12 month travel destination. Not just now in the fall when the trees look really beautiful, but it seems like there's a little bit of a chairlift happening over here, as well as a little souvenir. Right here. Shops, souvenir section. Dude, we are living today, Ivana. What a pleasant surprise. Without the gondola, not much to do, but the gondola opens all the possibilities. Wow. This is the chairlift I was talking about. Yes. Dude. Good. Okay, next stop, <laughs> eat. Yeah. Holy jumping, I tell you what, this is the type of view that will work up an appetite and I'm already hungry. So check this out. We are up here, literally on top of the restaurant. We will eventually go down here to eat. But I didn't realize there's a whole nother section to Piatra Nymphs. So the viewpoint is 
maybe not quite a 360 degree view, but at least a 260 degree view. And every angle is really quite beautiful. Gorgeous, man. There's this whole other section we didn't see before, which has a lake as well as a really beautiful football pitch, nearly said soccer stadium, <laughs> nearly said soccer stadium. Um, and so the cable car is absolutely worth it because the view up here is five stars. Amazing. And, uh, wow. Let's eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> let's eat. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, fantastic. Hello. Hello. Amazing. Sit here. I want to sit. I'll follow you, Ivana. You're the, you're the leader. The, yeah, the, the literal leader, but also the <laughs> spiritual leader, Ivana. Just love the. Feelings. Come on, can't beat it. Hello. 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 Okay, that's it. Maybe here. Ken? Yeah. What's Tokitura? Tokitura pork. Pork. No, no, for me, Mitch. Mitch, no. No, Mitch. Oh, no, Mitch. <laughs> yeah. Sold out. Too popular. No, Mitch. Uh, so. No, Mitch. No. Oh, Pulpa no. de chafa cutlet. Mmm. de pui. No, oh. Mitch. Mitch, no. Okay, what's, what's what is tokitura? Tokitura, Ivana? nice. Nice. S stew. Pork. Pork stew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this? Tokitura. Yes, like this. Tokitura. Okay, tokitura. Tokitura. <laughs> and drink? Uh, upper minerale. Da. Big yeah. one? Big water? Big, uh, small. Oh, small, okay. Doa. Doi. 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 What's doa? Doi. 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 Okay. Same, same. <laughs> okay. Merci. Well, tell me. Let's share it. All right, so I s yesterday for dinner, I had, basically you made a, a mich tokitura. You made a mich stew. <gasps> you are you made a, You made a combo <laughs> mich tokitura. Ac I, accidental never, fusion of flavors. Yeah, we have never had tokitura before, so this is, will be our first time having it. And I heard it's a traditional Moldavian dish. So, perfect day, perfect place Yo, to try Ivana, it. Ivana, you look so Romanian with your shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, welcome back to. Toki Tora Tuesdays. <laughs> Not exactly a stew. Actually, sort of like pork, egg, polenta, and cheese. Yeah, it looks kind of like a breakfast, like Canadian breakfast. Looks. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Very breakfasty. Now we are yeah. dealing with some copyrighted music in the background, so we might have to make magic happen. But I think mm. it's okay. Let's try. Uh, looks good, manageable. Mm. Thank, oh, you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank with bread. Yeah, it is like a breakfast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Looks like a breakfast sausages, pork. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It is like breakfast, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Okay, let's eat. All right, final review of Tokitura. I tell you what, I feel like I'm not gonna eat for a month. Whew, that was some heavy and greasy and oily and very tasty food. Now, I will apologize for the music coming on. This is a very common constraint of the traveling YouTuber. We walked in the restaurant YouTuber's and... YouTuber's worst nightmare. YouTuber's worst nightmare. We walked in there, it was totally silent. The woman was very friendly. We thought, oh, perfect place. We order food in complete silence and then once the food comes, the music comes on. <laughs> a bit of bad luck, but still a very friendly lady and very good food. I feel like Tokitura is food for like hard labor like farming yeah farmers and shepherds and something like that because it's heavy my stomach is like time for a nap <laughs> Woo. now well, time for the gym yeah maybe <laughs> you tomorrow really hike down hike down no 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 no, no. <laughs> you wouldn't want to disrespect the cable car ivana <laughs> Now, we told you guys about the archaeology museum, which we skipped because archaeology. But we did find an ethnography museum, which mm -hmm. looks interesting. I know it's ethnography, but it's got traditional costumes, traditional hats, and even traditional Romanian face mask oh. for Christmas or New Year's. Looks interesting. So come along with us as we journey towards the 
Ethnography Museum, providing we can walk. Oh, my stomach, <laughs> man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, you look like one happy lady. Oh my gosh, she's a happy lady. She's a very, very happy lady. All right, so beautiful drive to get here. Although this museum is really in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. We're in a tiny little village. Yeah, so small. I think oh. we're lost, but they're Where saying it's right here. I think it's this one, really. You think so? I don't Wait, know. There should be a sign. But but nice drive. It's, yeah. it's a happy accident if we got lost. Maybe here. Casa Popa. Oh, <gasps> right see, here. With yes, the, with yes, the yes, wooden yes. fence. That's right. Okay, let's park and go. Okay. I'm excited for this. Let's go. Right there. Go. Shout out to little kitty here. Come on. You can be with us. <laughs> I really feel like we are first visitor in museum history. So quiet. True, right? Yeah. Although this garden is so beautiful. Though. It's a really special place. And, uh... I would call this totem poles, which seems very African to me, but must be Romanian in some way. Okay, we got lots to learn, Ivana. Wow. Nice. There must be a story behind this. Let's go learn. Yeah. I'm excited. I hope we find someone here. It's so quiet. Yeah, true. I sort of feel like I'm in someone's property sneaking around. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> nice place. All right, we got the information we were looking for. So huge shout out to the guy we just met named Damien, who is another son of the sculptor and of the painter. And we learned all about these masks. I am loving this information. Let's be clear, five star, let's be very clear. Six star museum, wow. love this museum. Yes. So the idea is this, every year on New Year's, uh, all the way back to pre-Jesus, the ancient Dacian people mm -hmm. would put these masks on and do these shows and they would sort of contain messages hidden in the shows. So some of the earliest mask and costume performances were about uh, the arrival of Christianity and Jesus coming. And although the Christians came, they wanted to integrate the previous religion. And so right. uh, you could imagine these shows on New Year's Eve uh, integrating uh this new religion into this new area and then over 2000 years they kept doing these shows all the way through world war one there would be interesting messages in the shows world war ii naturally during the communist period maybe the messages would be less obvious because it, you know the regime might right, be after right. you and so what's incredible is this sculptor this uh folklore artist uh he was born in 1919 lived through world war ii lived through the communist regime. Uh, and so he was constantly changing the stories and being a real influential and driving force uh, in the folklore that would be expressed every year mm -hmm. on New Year's Eve. Now, there are masks and costumes and other shows. There's a Christmas show, there's other things happening, but the New Year's Eve one is where they would really uh, transfer messages. Right. So some of them are quite funny. Uh, Damien was telling us a story of one is, uh, this guy is going to sell his goats in the big city. And so first things first, the, uh, the motor vehicle bureau comes to him and says, excuse me, sir, your, goat, your goats are on the road. They should have a license plate. So he's got to bribe the cop and get that guy. And then he's going more than the doctor says, you're going to sell the goats. I have to do a checkup. Yeah. And the farmer's like, I know these goats are healthy to sell. What are you? And the guy's trying to do blood pressure on the goats. And it's a, the so goat it's, dance. yeah, the goat dance. Mm -hmm. So it's a story of uh, the country people trying to uh, follow the rules of the big city and being kind of, you know. <laughs> comical about it uh really really beautiful museum five star six star maybe it doesn't jump off the screen for video but i would really recommend this museum especially if you're romanian because i bet you a lot of romanians might not know all the details that damien right. just told us the one, interesting thing is this go on sorry one of my favorite story damien told us was during new year's that's when uh the people from this region believes that the sky opens up and that's where the spirit from the old people comes to earth and watch over their relatives or give punishment to the bad uh -huh. people and uh, that's why they have a lot of masks of old people so they wear this around the town and then after new year's they burn uh -huh. the mask to represent that the spirit has gone back up sure 
So the, the, the sky is opened up and they're yeah. doing these shows for their ancestors <laughs> yes. and then it's sort of finished. Yes. Uh, really, really great. Absolutely love this museum. The interesting thing from the Canadian perspective is the people here, like Romanian people, mm -hmm. are also like natives. Right. Because they were here long before right. Jesus. Uh, and actually the uh, Popa was a bit of a archaeologist. So he's got all this uh -huh. old school stuff. That's but in right. Canada, we've sort of lost native culture. Uh, they would certainly be doing highly visual dances and stuff of this nature. Mm -hmm. But because this Europeans came and sort of pushed the natives aside. Uh, in Europe and in Romania, the Romanian people are natives yeah. as well as their modern people. Same right, people. Right, right, right. So yes. in this way, you can sort of see the, I would call this like native culture, like Dacian culture right. almost. Yeah. Whereas nowadays they're... Uh, Christian population and they're not dressing like this yeah. in public, but and, still know, once a year they do the show. Yeah, the folk folklore folklore. Say, yeah Oh, this is a great yeah. museum. I'm so glad we came here. I really recommend it uh, It might not look like much, but the information Damien was telling yeah. us is really really special and uh, This fella here was the one who was very prolific non-stop Mr. working Popa. Mr. Popa Nikolai Popa I think his name is and a painting of him which uh, is very, very Probably nice. a self-portrait. He was also a painter he probably did it himself. Well, you can imagine these masks uh, conveying lots of messages on New Year's Eve, dancing around, and uh, whether it's political okay. struggle, whether it's commentary and, and comedic, yeah. uh, very interesting, <laughs> very good museum. You guys know every museum I go to, I say it's great, but this museum is really great. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Get this fresh apple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good. Mm. <laughs> wow.